massive drop 101 and it's almost over. Countries are making it extremely difficult. Extremely difficult for Nigerians to Japan and many other countries out there. For example, UK, they are tightening, tightening, tightening it because they want Nigeria to spend more. They want Nigeria to spend more and many other countries to spend more because they know that their economy, part of their economy, depends on visa fees, student fees, and so many other stuff as well. And now they are tightening it. Well, we're going to dwell on the UK because they just recently revealed their new rules. If you want to jack bars in Nigeria, these are the things that you need to have. Unlike before, when things are a little bit easy, now nah, it won't be that easy. So according to the news, they say UK unveiled tougher visa rules for foreigners working, including ban on bringing families and raising minimum salary requirement. UK Home Secretary James has unveiled a package of measures aimed at coping migration. The new five-point plan to cut immigration has been announced by the government, which includes banding care workers from bringing over their families and raising the minimum wage salary for skilled worker visa after record net immigration in 2022 piled pressure on Prime Minister Rishi Shuknak to act. You know, it is quite very, uh, very serious knowing for a fact that this particular Prime Minister in UK, they are not originally from uh, UK, they are also migrants as well. But let me tell you, all these things are being planned. Uh, if UK want to crop immigration, what's the better way or, or uh, better way to do it? Also, bringing an immigrant, an immigrant into power that will stop that immigration program, so that many countries, you out there, will not see any need to blame the UK. After all. It was. It is the same person, family who benefited from that immigration package that is stopping it. That says the usual. So, guys, uh, let me see, continue. They said, annual net immigration to the UK hit a record of seven hundred and forty-five thousand last year, and has stayed as high level since. Data showed last month. Interior Minister James said on Monday that the government would raise the minimum salary uh, for foreign skilled workers to £38,700 from its current level of £26,200. It is also reported that as part of the measures aimed at curbing immigration, overseas care workers will not be allowed able to bring family dependent to and the abuse of health and care visa. And also students as well. If you are studying master, undergraduate, postgraduate, you cannot bring any dependent. The only time they're going to allow you to bring dependent when you are studying PhD. <laughs> and guess who is the current uh, 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 interior minister? James, a black man. The James will look like an evil man. So, what better use? When white people were there, you see, say they stop and no, because they don't want to make you shout. Start uh, blaming UK. No, it's just the same people who are stopping it. It's the same people who came there, who, who came there through this means, through this benefit, as the one stopping it. That is what we are talking about. Although they have their first responsibility to safeguard their country. A country that you borrow, though, but you don't have responsibilities of safeguard. Good and fine. I'm not saying that that's wrong. But this is the normal system in every country. 
just like us, Nigeria, if I may use it as an example. During the old, old days, those government officials, old government officials, had basic amenities like free education, free MK, and so on. But during their time now being in office, they make sure there is no free education, no free health care because of what? Economic differences. Because of what? Ah, the economy is tight. The economy is hard. So we have to be harder. It's just the normal system. Jackpa syndrome, go so move. But you trust Nigerians now. Just like this guy here now. Who was interviewed last last year, about year last year, interviewed last year and revealed some secrets about Nigerians. This guy was barely even six months in UK. He was interviewed and he said, most of all those students that are able to come in here, they are not able to come in here to study. They just want to come here to start a job and start doing some things. They are not able to come in here to study. They just need that way to, to escape. He reveals so much of our secrets. But now he's enjoying himself. It's going to affect his own family. He forgot. It will affect his own family. And I hope he affects him too. He affects him directly to the point that he will be hurt. So that we know the dishonest, the discomfort he has caused Nigerians. Well, I'm not blaming the UK government. They have their first responsibility to safeguard their country and also make profit for their country in order to move their economy forward. That is their obligations. So I don't blame them at all for it. And what perfect way can they make you understand when all these have been, are, are being initiated by migrants? The Prime Minister of the uh, UK is a migrant. The Minister of Interior is also a migrant. <laughs> so what better way? Who are you going to blame? Your own people as well. So let's forget about that. Let me know exactly how you feel. Now let's talk about the Nigeria Army. They recently apologized to Nigeria and revealed that ah, they accidentally dropped a bomb on innocent citizens in Kaduna State. Just like that, they announced, oh, please, so we accidentally dropped one big uh, thing you know, for one big bomb for Kaduna State. Oh, oh we are sorry. Uh, it was an accident. Few, few persons died and the families are mourning. Our condolences to the family. Finish. Nobody is held accountable. Nobody is held responsible for what happened. Nobody is being sacked. Nobody is writing a recognition letter. <laughs> Nigeria, my country. Yeah. Nigeria, my country. Say, Nigeria Army admit mistakenly dropping. Bomb on Kaduna villagers from combat drone killing 126 civilians. That is coming from People Gazette. Not terrible. 123 by because of accident. Good and fine, it's an accident. Oh, yes, good and fine. But not terrible. Nobody is resigning. Good and fine. But nobody is resigning, but nobody is talking. Ah, just like that. One round 26 just buy like wow. Oh, may God, may God not allow us to buy like wow. Child, God forbid that kind of horrible way to go. No accountability. Nothing, no resignation, nothing. And they will say, no, to talk. Or if you talk too much, they will deal with you. <laughs> Someone said, this is absolutely unacceptable. This is not a mistake. Someone said, the army chiefs will resign. Head must rule. 
there must be consequences. <laughs> uh, the other person there, how can you mistakenly drop a bomb on the villagers? Someone, somehow, they never mistakenly drop on bandit camp. Good figures. This is why the West has refused to sell weapons to us. Oh boy! 126 civilian mistakenly by. May God know let us mistakenly by in Jesus' name. Hmm? In the name of Allah, may God know let us mistakenly by. May God know make us mistakenly by. It will not be used as a point of mistake in our life. I just a worker like this, or maybe I just a worker like this. Before you know it, one one boom from up. I may God not let us see